Lady, <laughs> let me share with you some five feminine traits men find irresistible in women. <laughs> five womanly qualities that will make your man addicted to you forever. He will feel like you are the magnet he is been waiting for. Five of them. Actually, five words. Just five words. And the guy is hooked up to you for good. <laughs> Number one, confidence. Men are looking for a confident woman. What's that? What's a confident woman? Who is a confident woman? A confident woman is comfortable in her own skin. She doesn't mind if a guy compliments her, but she doesn't need external validation. She's happy with her face, with her height, with her shape, with her looks. She's confident with her clothes, her shoes, her hair, her nails. You can tell she's comfortable in her own skin. A confident woman is secure. <laughs> You can't threaten or intimidate or manipulate her to take you to bed. She knows who she is. She knows herself. If she's going to kiss you, it's for her own good. It's because she loves you, not because you coerced or manipulated or promised some big thing out there. She's not moved by a man's money or what he has or his achievements. She's secure in herself and with herself. She expresses her mind, her heart, her feelings. Sometimes she will use gestures and body language, but more often than not, she will speak, not in a rude way, in a nice, kind way, but she will let you know how she's feeling. You get to know her tastes, her preferences, what tickles her and what puts her off because she's confident with herself and in herself. Number two, number two, passion, passion, you know, passion is sexy. <laughs> Who wants a cold fish? Who wants a cold fish in bed or for life? But I'm not just talking about being passionate in terms of feelings. Of course, men don't want to hook up with a woman who is likely to be cold for the rest of their lives. They want a woman with some life. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about passion for living, passion for life. Men are looking for a woman who is driven, who has a reason to live for. A woman who has dreams and she's chasing after those dreams. A woman who has positive vibes. She's a jovial soul. She's a happy soul. Life is full of stress. Who wants a depressed spirit? If you're ever moody, guys will skip off. They'll stay far away from you. Hey, your boyfriend is not your personal psychiatrist to deal with your historical and hysterical baggage. Come on, men are looking for a jovial person, someone who can lighten the burden of this life. Number three. Before I give you number three, I just want to remind you, 70% of the people who watch my videos have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please be among the 30% who can also bless me. You are blessed to bless. We bless each other. Secure people also bless the people who bless them. They enjoy when those who bless them thrive and do well. Please reach out to that subscribe button and hit it. Let's bless each other. Be among the 30% who support me, who reach out to bless my life as well. Deal? <laughs> All right. Five irresistible traits that men fight in women. Number three, honesty. Honesty. Trust me, lady. Once you go lie, we'll keep away a professional man out of your life. We are lacking honest people. People who can speak the truth about how they earn, where they earn, where they get their money. Do they have a history with another man? Are they seeing somebody else? Who are their parents? What are they doing? Do they have a child or not? 
Just be you, be real, be honest, be a woman of integrity and values. And when you go out for dinner, don't try to use the man. Ask yourself, if nobody was sponsoring me out for dinner, would I pay for what I'm about to pay for? Would I select the meal I'm about to select? If you pick an expensive meal simply because he's paying, he's going to notice it and he will wonder whether you can take care of your joint resources. If you try to use a man, he will notice it. So don't try to use him. Be simple, be real. Buy what you could have bought if you are paying it for yourself. Number four, hey, the female or womanly qualities, traits, features, that are so irresistible in women. Number four, humility. Humility, trust me. Men don't want a controlling woman. Men don't want an arrogant woman. Men don't want a woman who is proud. So who is a proud and arrogant and controlling woman? This is a woman who must have her way. She can't even listen. A humble woman listens. Yes, she expresses herself. She's confident, but she's confident enough to listen to the guy, to listen to his opinions, to hear him out. And a humble woman is kind. What's kindness? She treats everyone with respect and honor and dignity. You can tell a humble woman by the way she treats the waiter, the waitress, the janitor, the security guard, the receptionist, the Uber driver. How you treat people in the service industry speaks volumes about who you are, about your character, how you treat the people perceived to be a little bit lower than you in the society, reflects and reveals who you are, reveals the condition of your heart. A humble woman is polite to everyone. If a man tries to make advances, she will still say no, but in a humble way, in a respectful way, in a way he doesn't feel dehumanized. In a way, he won't feel attacked. In a way, he won't feel like, you know, uh, he will still feel dignified. You are not a still, still listen, feeling respected and honored for who he is. You know, a humble person respects people for who they are. Trait number five that men are looking for in women. Number five, intelligence. You heard me right. Yes. Guys are looking for a witty, educated, and thoughtful woman. Well, I'm not talking about book smart. No, no, no. I'm talking about IQ and EQ. I'm talking about your intelligence uh, quotient. Yes, your ability to make sound judgment. To know when you should introduce him to your family. To know when you should see his mom. To be able to initiate a conversation with him, with his parents. And also emotional intelligence. This is the true wisdom. Your ability to control your emotions. When you're super excited or when you're upset, you don't blow things out of proportion. You have the real wisdom. That innate, inborn, inherent wisdom. That's what I'm calling EQ. You can control your emotions. You don't go be suck. When upset with a waiter or an Uber driver or even with the guy seeing you or with your boss, things are always under control. If things are always falling apart, there's a problem. Make no mistake, everyone gets upset. Sometimes everyone has a bad day. But people who are wise are able to handle difficult situations in a controllable environment without blowing stuff out of proportion, without making a mountain out of a molehill. And you know what? Intelligent women are open to learn from others. They are open to hear other perspectives. They respect other frames of reference. Their way is not the only way. If your way is the highway and there cannot be, you cannot accommodate another frame of reference, then you're lacking in wisdom. Intelligent women accommodate somebody else's perspective without necessarily agreeing with them. You know, you can disagree with my views without attacking me, the person. You're able to express your disagreement in a respectful manner and say, I hear you, but I feel, or 
I hear you out, but I'm of a different opinion. I'm of a different perspective. Or rather, this is the way I look at it. I can hear you. I can see your anger. Is this what you're saying? Isn't this what you're saying? But I do think it this way. I look at the issue from this perspective. That's an intelligent woman. Please, 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 let me know whether you learned something. Give me your comments. Give me your thoughts. Just share with me your thoughts in this video. And if this video blessed you, share it with another woman. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, just hit that subscribe button because you're a nice lady. You are a kind woman. You are kind. You're not jealous. You're not full of envy. Just hit that subscribe button because you are such a kind lady. Thank you so much. And God bless you.